Californians will be required to continue to wear a mask indoors for another month. The state's Health and Human Services Agency secretary made that announcement this afternoon. KTVU's Andre Sr. joins us now live with that and more on today's other developments. Andre. Well, Julie, while it's clear that we'll have to continue to wear a mask indoors for several more weeks, what is not so clear is when the in man mandate will eventually be lifted. I can't Dr. Mark Galley, secretary for the California spread. Health and Human Services Most Agency, announced Wednesday anyway. afternoon that all residents of the state must continue to wear their mask indoors until at least February 15th. And while Galley said the state would reevaluate hospitalization numbers on that date, he could not provide the criteria that would trigger an end to the mask mandate. Right now, we don't have a specific number. So uh, I know people would like to have, hey, this is the number we're watching for before this requirement gets lifted. Galley is referencing hospitalizations. 51,000 people are currently hospitalized in California, 8,000 of which are currently battling COVID-19 infections. He says any future decision will be balanced against the effects on medical staffing, which is being assisted by 1,800 personnel that California continues to bring in from out of the state. This has allowed us to support over 150 different facilities. Some of those are exclusive surge facilities that allow us to add beds. That surge in personnel comes as there is a rise in the number of pediatric coronavirus infections, says Galley. We have admitted more patients on a day-to-day -day basis um, over the last few days than we did even at the peak of last winter's surge. Amid the sobering development, the Health and Human Services Secretary reports that getting school children tested remains a top priority with 6.2 million tests delivered to schools across the state since December 22nd, with more tests still on the way. We have um, significant capacity available uh, at many, many schools to provide students uh, PCR testing with turnaround times of 24 to 48 hours. You know, not as immediate as those over-the-counter tests, but still a very significant and important um, approach to testing. Galley says the majority of the people hospitalized with COVID-19 are unvaccinated, so he's again encouraging those who have not done so to get the shot and the booster to help reduce hospitalization. At this point, over 66% of our state's population fully vaccinated and 83%. Well, they've had at least one dose of the vaccine. Back to you, Julie. Andre Senior reporting live tonight. Andre, thank you.